Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. May Jesus Christ bless you. Of all the times, it's 11.11 on the dot. Um, <laughs> 11 seconds. So, I want to have a little bit of a conversation about God's grace and um, what may seem cruel or rejecting or something hurtful at the time or something just out, outright annoying in hindsight, just saved you big time. So first and foremost, um, I'll give you one. The other day I had to go and collect some rolls of polypipe. And so that I didn't look stupid, <laughs> the Lord made the truck late. So I put the owners back on the company so that they um, didn't have the product there on time. And in hindsight, that worked out because it shifted the way I was actually going to do the project right now skip back a couple of days before that I'm working in really long grass at the moment bastard long grass and it's good that it's in autumn because like it cuts all right and I've got I've got the most powerful whippersnipper there is and I've got the thickest lead there is so it makes life pretty bloody easy especially in autumn because I just choose to do stuff anyway um I was driving the ride on lawnmower over a stock grid, and this has never happened before in my life. It took out the two hydrostatic brakes. I'm like, what the freaking hell? Like, so it was fine as I was driving, but the moment that I pulled up, it locked the brakes in, couldn't start again. Couldn't believe it. And I've had trouble with the company where you get these hydrostatic brakes from, and because um, they made a cast and they just they break anyway. I just couldn't believe it broke the pair. It was irreparable. Now, they were like, look, it might be here by the end of next week. Today is the end of next week now. And I could have made a trip down to go, and, but it's like an hour and a half drive to get them. But I was like, I'll just wait for them to call me. So I'm not going to chase them for this. And I thought, you know, I'll just use the whippersnipper because it is what it is to get the job done. Now, do you think this is coincidental or do you think this is God's grace? what I've just come across now. I've just flicked them and that and that and that and those four were here directly in my path in short consection, uh, con consecutively followed by this. I don't think I didn't just um, get saved by the bell there. Because I think there would have been a new lawnmower deck if I'd hit those rocks followed by that wire. So, um, and then it turns out that that wire's in the ground up ahead of us as well. So, just down there, and I've got 200 metres that way. That's just this run, and then I've got to go around it. There's a ring mate going around the hill. Anyway, um, We've got to learn to trust what's going on, you know, like trust the process. And sometimes when it doesn't make sense, you may have just been saved from a future fault that would have been a lot more expensive and a lot more detrimental if the Lord didn't break the little sacrifices that he did. So the little sacrificial anodes for me. So what's a sacrificial anode? It's an anode that goes inside of a hot water tank and it deteriorates first before the rest of the tank. So you keep replacing that and your tanks last longer. And again... On this machine, the little sacrificial anodes are the um, hydrostatic brakes and um, the brake levers. And by the Lord snapping those, it's a bit like knocking the ankle of the um, sheep to make sure they cleave to the Lord's legs. Well, not quite here, but you know, I mean, like sometimes you've got to break something so something much larger doesn't get broken further down the track. Anyway, and so in this sense, uh, I'd never had this happen before, but the Lord force issue she broke those brakes dead stop the machine can't move anywhere until they get the stuff so it's out of contention and um in hindsight the grass is pretty damn long anyway it would have been tough on the machine but to have been going through a grass that thick and have been that tough and then to have come across that barbed wire would have been almost an impossible job to untangle that followed by those rocks would have broken the damn deck itself so Maybe the Lord will use this and maybe you need to hear this if you've just gone through a hard knock and you're not quite aware of why the knock was given yet. It may have been a way to save you from um, 
needing to cash in on some form of insurance. You know what I mean? Right here. Jesus loves you. Have a good day. Bye for now.